Hey everybody, it's just me again, um, Professor Williams, and now we're going to do another um, time value of money on this BA2 um, plus calculator. Except this time, whoops, hang on. Except this time, what we're going to do is, if I can get my stuff working here, is we are going to take a look at, again, using these same time value money keys, this row right here. Um, except this time, what I've got is, I know that the cost of a new car today is $38,000. And the price of cars is increasing at a rate of 12% per year. So at a rate of growth rate of 12% per year, how long is it going to take before I have to pay $100,000 for that car? Not that I'm ever paying that for a car, but that's the question posed to you. So what we have to have again is we have to have all of these keys. Well, in this case, how long will it take? Remember your N always has to do something with time. It's either the number of payments, the number of inflows, the number of outflows, the number of years. So in this case, I don't know N and I'm going to solve for it. IY is my interest rate per year and in this case, whoa, it's given to me as 12%. Sorry about that weird looking one. Present value, remember that's the today part. So what I know is that the present value is that today, if I went and bought that car, it would cost me $38,000. This payment piece is cash inflows or cash outflows. And I'm not making payments. I just want to know how much does it cost. So again, the payment amount is zero. The future value is how much I'm going to pay for this car at some point in the future, which is this $100,000. It better be a heck of a car for $100,000. So, again, using this set of time value of money keys, I'm going to walk you through the keystrokes. All right, so here I am back at my calculator. Now I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to do second. Clear work, second, clear the time value of money, and then I'm going to hit just the regular clear. Make sure I don't have anything left in my calculator. So I'm going to start working across this row of time value of money keys. I know that interest rate, rate per year is 12%, and all I have to do is just put in the 12, and I can hit IY. Now I know that the present value the present cost of that car is $38,000 and now I can just hit PV for present value. I know that the payment, remember I have no inflows or outflows, um, all I want to do is know how much is the price of that car going to be and I'm going to hit zero, no inflows or outflows and hit payment and now I want to know the future value and I know the future value. I know that in the future that car is going to cost me $100,000 and I'm going to hit future value. Remember this magic compute key right here says I want to compute the missing variable and in this case it's N or the how long it will take before that $38,000 car now costs $100,000. So I'm going to hit compute N and I get an error. Why did I get an error? Because I got an error, and I did this because a lot of you all are getting this same error. This future value right here, when I go to buy this car, right, I'm going to buy the car, I'm going to write a check for $100,000, correct? Well, when I write a check, that's an outflow. 
So what I know is that when I go to write that check, it's going to be a negative $100,000. What we know about the way the time value of money keys works is I've got to have a negative value somewhere, either in this future value or in this present value. So now I'm going to go through again and I'm, we're going to, to see how we should have worked it. We're going to say second, clear time value of money, second, clear work, and then clear again. Right? Now I'm going to start through again. I'm going to say IY is 12%. The present value is $38,000. And it's a positive present value because I haven't spent that money yet. I haven't written a check. I'm not getting any inflows or outflows. I'm not earning or spending money in the interim time between today and the time I buy this car. So I'm going to say the payment is zero. And now the future value when I go to buy this car is going to be $100,000. What is the biggest mistake my students make on this future value or present value being a negative amount? It's the fact that you all, you can't use the minus key. You need to use this key right here, which toggles on to either a positive value or a negative value. So now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take this 100,000, I'm going to hit negative, and then future value, All right? Now I'm going to say compute. Remember what I was looking for was how long, which is N, and it's going to take me roughly 8.54 years. If the price of a new car costs $38,000 today, the price of cars increases at a rate of 12% per year, it will take 8.54 years before that same car costs $100,000. Just please remember this piece right here, which is making that future value, converting that over to a negative, to avoid getting that error. I'm going to run and see what Wanda's barking about. I hope you guys have a good night, and I will see you again pretty shortly.